Morning, peeps. Jazz Gonzo here. Another what's next. I meant to put this in my last video in the land of stupid because it fits perfectly. Sports has always been a love for me. Growing up in Philadelphia, um, Eagles, Sixers, Phillies, Flyers. Uh, we are the only major city in the country that has four major teams and also champions of all four teams. But this has gone back at least three to four years now, maybe five years at this point, back to 2017, when you had a ignorant, a very ignorant and irrelevant backup quarterback by the name of Colin Kaepernick decided to make himself relevant and install himself on the world stage by taking a knee, which of course now has coined the phrase pretty much now, taking a knee to pretty much the woke culture in the NFL. And the NFL has more than gladly bent over and taken it up the rear end with no KY. Just when we kind of thought we got over it after last season, especially that they stopped doing the nonsense after the first week of the NFL season and the Super Bowl where you basically saw a sprinkling, but you did not see the idiocy of this movement. They're back. They're back again. Let's take a look. This comes out of PJ Media. Woke 2.0, NFL to sing Black National Anthem, does not exist during the 2021 season. Separations for black players. Nothing says unity like separate national anthems. The National Football League, which has become the National Up League, apparently looking to lose even more fans over their social justice garbage, has decided to allow the singing of, quote, Lift Every Voice and Sing, known as the Black National Anthem. Before games in 2021 football season, apparently the NFL missed the wave of patriotism we saw before hockey games in the 2021 playoffs, which began with the New York Islanders fans. They also have missed the boos from the fans who are sick of the political correctness destroying their sports. I am adding, of course, into the story. Factorama. No member of the NFL has ever taken a knee for all the women beaten by their own players. Yes, that's right. Those nasty, abusive players who have beaten their girlfriends or wives over the decades in the NFL, but not one has taken a knee in support of those women. Last season, we saw social justice slogans such as, quote, end racism etched into the end zones. NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell, clown, who is worth $150 million, is not only down with the cause. He claims he personally protests with the Marxist Black Lies Matter organization. Quote, we at the National Football League believe Black Lies Matter. Oh, I'm sorry, Black Lives Matter, sorry. I personally protest with you. I don't want to be part of the much-needed change in this country. Goodell said in a video last year, which, of course, guaranteed he had his knee pads on. Without black players, there would be no National Football League. And the protests around the country are emblematic of the centuries of silence, inequality, and oppression. Key words of black players, coaches, fans, and staff. We are listening. I am listening. And we'll be reaching out to players who have raised their voices and others on how we can prove and go forward for a better and more united NFL family. Yes, uniting the NFL family by f over all the fans like us. Can we start the unity with one national anthem for all Americans? No, no, no. <clears throat> what is all this new? This is the same woke NFL that wouldn't allow the late, great Rush Limbaugh to buy into a team. Though they could never pr prove definitely, definitively why Limbaugh shouldn't be an owner. They never had a legitimate reason. 
because he was a conservative. There's your legitimate reason. Quote, this is not about the NFL, not about the St. Louis Rams, nor about me, Limbaugh said in 2008. The late, great Rush Limbaugh. This is about the ongoing effort by the left in this community, wherever you find them in the media, Democratic Party, or wherever, to destroy conservatism, to prevent the mainstreaming of anyone who is a prominent as a conservative. Therefore, this is about the future of the USA and what kind of country we're going to have. Amen, Rush. Amen. Excuse me. My thoughts. Um, Rush, the late great Rush, is absolutely right. And how the NFL has treated its fans like yours truly, like garbage over the last three to five years. Like I said in the beginning of this segment, Colin Kaepernick, irrelevant backup, decided to try to make himself irrelevant again by insulting not half the fans, all of the fans, by doing this, quote, social justice nonsense. And sadly, the NFL is continuing to repeat the garbage being spewed. Well, NFL, if you thought you had shitty ratings last season, you haven't seen anything yet. You want to say fuck the fans? Okay. Fuck the fans. But when your ratings tank like the NBA, don't bitch and moan about, I wonder what happened. Clowns. Pathetic little clowns, especially you, Roger de Godel. And with that being said, I'm Jasper Gonzo. This is What's Next. Want to see more just like this? Please leave a comment below. Like it, share it, subscribe to it, hit the notification bell so you don't miss a thing. And we'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.